Um, last song of the day, we're going to come back around to them Crooked Vultures. Like I said, it was kind of funny in the in the comments of that post where I was asking for requests. It just so happened that uh, two peop- two different people requested um, them, cro- them Crooked Vultures just back to back. So I kind of split them up. We started with them Crooked Vultures. Now we're going to end with them as well. So uh, this is Warsaw or the First Breath You Take After You Give Up. So what a title, first of all. Um, another seven-ish minute song from them. So I say we jump right in and, and then we'll call it a day. So here we go.
Oh, that was a good way to end it for today. Um, you know, I have a question. How how popular is psychedelic rock? Because I feel like so much of what we listen to today has tones and hints of psychedelic rock here and there. Um, and then blues on top of that. I don't blues her. The blues are very popular. But yeah, like I feel like w- when I listen to a lot of rock music, especially rock music that's come out in the last five or so years, I feel like I, I hear a lot of psychedelic rock influences. I hear a lot of blues rock influences. This one I feel like had had both, you know, it was very bluesy in the beginning. Um, but there at the end, especially in the vocals, like with some of the effects they were putting on it, very psychedelic, I feel like. So um, I'm just curious, did I, did I miss like uh, the, the psychedelic train or something because i just I, I feel like a lot of what i've listened to today and just recently in general has, has been very psychedelic um so anyway let's let's break this on down like we always do um starting of course with the lyrics so can't afford to lose my head lose my head can't afford to lose my cool you'll blow them all in king dumb come <laughs> king dumb come i can't afford to lose my tease i just aim to please feel like a hotel motel painting out of place and ignored it's all medals and trophies trophies and medals um all before the race has been run oh take off your mask take it off now baby is it too much to ask too much to ask go on give it a try give it up now kiss your ass goodbye goodbye autobiographical anonymous anonymous goddamn a cotillion of fra- of friction on my jurisdiction that's a funny line a cotillion of friction on my jurisdiction it's a lovely disguise with the wondering eyes i get high now you've got something to look up to that's that's a cool line too that's the thing about josh homie he writes so many cool lines even if they're they're, they're almost nonsensical just the way they're written sounds really cool like what a line that is right i get high now you've got something to look up to what a cool line i love that Trouble's a mangy stray dog. Play with it once, then it follows you home. It's all have not, have none. Hey, can I have some? Until I've had enough, yet I've had none. Oh, take off your mask. Rip it off now, baby. Lose it uh, into the trash. Throw it all away. Go on, give it a try. Throw it all away. Kiss your ass goodbye. Suddenly, uh, it gets easy. The sun goes down. The long arm of important things disappears in their in her gown. You finally drop the knife. Forget you ever. I'm assuming there's question marks here because whoever the, wrote the lyrics isn't sure if this is what he's actually saying. It's a good night, but that ain't forever. It feels together in love in your arms. But still, it hurts to be young. I know it hurts. It hurts to be young. Metamorphosis is. It hurts to be young. Gotta learn every goddamn thing. You gotta hack your way through and realize it's almost entirely lies. That's true. When you're young, your perception of the world is totally different. And, and you grow and realize that, yeah, you know, you didn't always have it right. But then you'll begin to smile, smile for me real. When you accept what you are, the transformation is done. You've become absorbed into, and you know, I think I know what to do. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure what the song is about. Maybe it is about growing up. Maybe it's about change. I'm not too sure. that It is very dense, I feel like, lyrically. Um, but with some really cool cool lines, like I said. So I'm, I'm going to give it a thumb up lyrically. I think Josh Homme, again, is just so creative when it comes to, to writing lyrics. I just I love his approach, uh, whether it be with him, Crooked Vultures or Queens of the Stone Age or what have you. I'm assuming he wrote the lyrics because they, they feel very Josh Homme to me. Um, instrumentally i feel like and vocally i feel like there was a lot to enjoy here uh again going back to josh homie i really like his vocal style uh and pretty much everything i've heard him in um and so this is no exception i just and like i said they really put some some psychedelic uh flavor on a lot of of his singing in the second half of the song um and so that i think i think was really cool and really just added to the feel and the instrumentation almost of the song too um i really like the guitar work throughout and the bass i think the bass really came through nicely in this song um and and you you really really got it in that guitar solo section where everything seemed to be speeding up with that little guitar solo you really got to hear that 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 bass groove really take off so that was really nice and of course the drumming i thought was fantastic um and so between the instrumentation and the vocals, I mean, this was a really solid song. I loved that build up in the middle of the song. That was probably my favorite part. Um, but also you had that blues rock um, vibe throughout, which I think, again, they're pretty known for. I think from what I've um, 
heard from them so far. Um, but yeah, it was it was super cool to listen to. I, I definitely dug it. So um, if I had maybe one criticism, and I did feel it was a little long. I could have maybe sh- we probably could have shaved a minute or two off the song, and I think I would have enjoyed it uh, even more, honestly. Um, but still, I think what we got was still pretty solid. I gave it two big thumbs up instrumentally and vocally. As far as replay value goes, I think this is where the length of the song starts to affect it a little bit. Um, because I do want to listen to the song again, especially for that middle part that that really uh, builds up, and it almost like makes you anxious because it keeps building up and building up and building up. Um, but if it wasn't for like again, if we shaved a minute or two off, I would I could see myself really listening to this a little bit more often. But as it is, I, I definitely still want it on my playlist, and I, I can de- I can definitely still come back to it and uh, enjoy it. So I'm still gonna give it a thumb up for replay value for sure. Overall, a fantastic request, and I think this one comes from our friend Tess, friend of the channel, uh, who isn't with us in the stream today, but still a very solid request. So I appreciate that. 